Hi, today we're going to be making a little robot character. With the robot character, we're using a few things that you might find around. This is from a, noodle, a swimming pool noodle. And we've got some tools to use, a pencil, a glue gun, some scissors, and we've got some materials. These are little clips that are used for holding screws in walls. We've got some straws, some pipe cleaners, and some paper and things. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be assembling. So you, with your pencil, you can make a hole in here. It's pretty good for making a hole. The straws are pretty strong and you can use, uh, cut off the little tip of the straw here. And what you get is a length that looks like that. You just push it through. Now it's a little bit hard aligning it perfectly, but try to get about halfway through each side. Now this is an arm sticking straight out. We'll probably want to have elbows. So what we do is we just cut a little V shape here, about halfway through the straw, where we want the inside of the elbow to be. Now this is a way we can use the pipe cleaner. We stick the pipe cleaner through the straw, like so, and then the elbows will bend. Now if we make that about exactly halfway through, we can add little hands little robot hands to this. Let's get a little dab of glue. I'm using hot glue here because it's really fast. You've got to be careful with hot glue because the tip gets really hot. And this unfortunately came unplugged. So while I'm waiting for the hot glue to, to heat up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to, I made the legs. The legs, again, you just put a little hole, this time from the bottom, Another little hole from the bottom. And again, get your straw. It's a sippy kind. You have to cut off that little piece. And we cut this about halfway in the middle. I'm going to cut it at a little angle. It just makes it a little bit easier to push in. So I try to find those little holes. I push them in. And whoopee, I've got some legs. Now you might want to draw this in tin foil, aluminum foil, or um, do it on plain paper, colored paper. Um, these might be eyes, mouth, could be whatever you like. So I'm going to make kind of like, I drew some kind of like robot teeth and I colored them green. Like so, we'll cut them out. I think the eyes on this one, we're going to make them, um, I think I'll make the anime kind of style eyes. This is, I could use bolts or some other thing. I kind of like the anime style. Kind of look like goggles a little bit. Now, for this we're going to want to glue that on there. Maybe glue on a nose. And glue on a mouth. Like so. Pretty scary robot. Now, to make him stand up, you're going to have to bend this over twice, cut it in half, and then glue it onto the end of the straws. Now the hot glue works pretty good for all of those things. So um, remember not to touch the tip of the glue gun because it can get very, very hot. So just put a little glue on here, the hand. And a little bit of glue for the other hand. There we go. Find that nose. Here we go. Glue the nose about halfway down the head. Right there. Put on the scary mouth. You might be able to use another kind of glue if you don't have a glue gun at home. Just make sure it sticks to plastic. And we could use, let's use the anime style eyes. I like those. There we go. Okay, okay so this guy will 
maybe not stand up perfectly because his legs are a little bit small. If his hands are down, it's fine. But usually what we want to do is we want to make the legs a little bit more steady. So we'll just make very large feet. A pipe cleaner, one pipe cleaner will make about two feet. So just cut the pipe cleaner in half and just glue his feet onto the bottom. So let's say about there, one foot. Just hold it there for about 10 seconds. Get the other one ready. And put the glue on. And hold it for about 10 seconds. It looks a little bit like a skier. He's a robot. And now he'll stand without his hands dragging along the ground. So that's how you make a little robot. That's pretty cute. And now robot number one has a friend. Thanks for watching.